Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out some stylish halftone line letters. All right, I'm going to select the type tool. I'm going to click, type in whatever you want. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it up. From here, I'm going to go to Object, Expand, click OK. I'm going to add a color, decrease the opacity, make it light. And I'm gonna go to the layers and I'm gonna lock this layer. I'm gonna create a new layer. So the letter M is locked. I'm gonna select, actually I'm gonna change the color first. I'm gonna go with black. I'm gonna select the rectangle. I'm gonna create a line. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, press Shift. I'm gonna select the pen tool. I'm gonna add another anchor point here. And I'm gonna select direct, direct selection tool, select these two anchor points and go here to the convert select anchor point to smooth. Click, there you go. So this got smoothened out. You got like an anchor point. I mean, what is that, the handle? And I'm gonna click on this anchor point and drag the handle, press and hold shift until it gets straight. And I'm gonna click on the anchor point, drag it inside here. There you go. I'm gonna select this anchor point pull it down, press and hold shift, and I'm gonna make it curvy. I'm gonna drag this onto the intersect. I'm gonna make this more narrow. I'm gonna select both, click on Pathfinder, click on Unite. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select the bottom part, drag it up, press and hold shift. Okay, from here, I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold alt, drag it down, also press shift to isolate until they intersect here. Press and hold shift to rotate it, select both, go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. I'm going to delete these two anchor points, very important. I'm going to select the pen tool, delete the anchor points. So it's going to be, now I'm going to put this to the letter M. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select the area, and just drag it down until they go to the bottom. I'm going to select it, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, make some space in between, release, from here, press Ctrl D to create a lot of copies. Create more copies than necessary. Select all. So we're gonna need like four or five lines in one of uh, the letter M's legs. So I'm gonna make this wide. See that? So we got five here in this leg and five more here. Now it's five. Now it's perfectly five, actually. I'm gonna select these unnecessary ones, delete them. I'm gonna select these internal parts which are not connected to this uh, magenta. A letter M. As you can see, this one is already connected there with this little edge, and we need those edges. So I'm going to select these one which hang freely in here. As you can see, we're going to work with this one. I'm going to drag it down, press and hold shift until it's going to touch the letter M, this little edge here. See that? I'm going to press and hold shift, click on this so it's now deselected. I'm going to work with the rest. I'm going to drag down, press and hold shift until they kind of touch each other. Press and hold shift, click, deselect it. And basically this, this way you go to every each of these. So it should look something like this. So I'm gonna select the direct selection tool again. I'm gonna start clicking from here. See that? I'm gonna go all the way here and go all the way down. So I selected these bottom anchor points. I drag it up, press and hold shift, Drag it, drag it until you see these guys in, start to intersect here. These also needs to be arranged and these also needs to be arranged. So I'm going to do it manually with the direct selection tool. I'm going to select all, right click group. I'm going to press and hold out to create a new copy. Okay, it starts to come together. As you can see, this one is kind of inconsistent. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it down. This way it creates a copy. And this way we can make it like more thicker. And it looks something like this. And this is how you make this hot tone line illustrator. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.